in the previous episode, we attended the Spring Festival. It was pretty good. I didn't win. Uh, weather tomorrow gonna be a beautiful sunny day. Okay, cool. Living off the land, what they got to tell us. It's salmon berry season all across the countryside. Bushes are teeming with juicy little berries, and they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. It's true. And fortune teller. They're very happy today. Ah, oh, we might go into the mines. Maybe. We're going to use a lot of our energy <laughs> just doing this stuff. Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Thanks. Couldn't send more cookies. Maybe some money. <laughs> Got nothing for me. Okay, cool. Fine. Just tip. You know what? Actually, that, that tip is probably pretty key for people who've never played a game like this before. It's um, it's an interesting assumed knowledge thing I think a lot of us have in, you know, in in the, the gaming sphere who play a lot of these kind of games. Especially those who, like like I, grew up playing, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Harvest Moon. It's like, yeah, yeah, I could, I could see... I could see how people just wouldn't realize that when it hit a different, um, a different season that everything would be, is this close? Oh, it's open. I, I was just wondering why they were out there already, but it just doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, when you hit a different season, like everything just kind of disappears and you gotta start again, but that's, that's kind of the fun of it, isn't it? Yeah, give me the salmon berries. Give it to me. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of extra money that we could potentially get, but we can also kind of hold onto them and make jam, <laughs> so... We've got some options. I I think historically I hold on to like half of them, um, but I really need the extra money at the moment just to kind of get things going. Although I can't, it's not like I can really farm anything. It's really just the uh, the upgrading because I've I've almost used all of my energy just this one day, <laughs> just just watering things. So I don't know. I think an upgrade to the axe or the pickaxe would be pretty nice. Or them both, you know, getting them both, but that's 4,000 gold right there. And we only have 500, so you kind of got to pick your battles, I think. And and um, it's one of those, I, I should probably plan out how exactly I want to do this. You know, I don't, I don't think we're getting to the mines. This is like most of our day is going to be just foraging, which is great because it means that, you know, we're going to potentially level up in foraging. But at the same time, <laughs> it's our whole day gone. So I probably should utilize this to make some more money while we wait for the crops to grow. I think we got maybe one or two days left on our crops as well. So um, we still got to wait for that money to come in, too. We should probably talk to her before I head back to town. Hey, at least you involved with her camera. Yep. That's why I don't talk to her normally. Just, you know, it's, it's it's like the 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 modern day phone kind of thing. It's just like some people they're just always on their phone. Should also probably process these geos before he closes. Get this stuff out of my inventory as well. I'm up to 42 berries. I think yeah, maybe maybe I keep like a third of them. Well, we'll see how much I get overall and and uh, make our decision from there. I think. Uh, so we got one, two items to go to the museum, and then it's. Berry time. Oh, he gave us starfruit seeds. Plant in the summer. Takes 13 days to mature. Gonna hold on to that, definitely. I don't remember exactly what the starfruit is used for, though. I think there's like a... I think there's like a cooking... No, there's something with the starfruit. I'm gonna have to look it up before we um, jump, you know, head on into summer and figure out exactly what to do with it. If I, if I want to hold on to it or plant it or do other things with it. So I have definitely spent the entire day doing salmon berries. We've got quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this berry before I forget about it. Oh, and the chickens are inside. Let's close that up for them. Remember, they get happy now. Oh, and I just leveled up my foraging. Perfect. So I saw two wormy boys um, out near. There was one at the beach and then um, one coming into town, I believe. So I'm going to go grab those. And I think that'll just like wrap up this day. Oh, I forgot over here too. Yeah, we can get some berries over here. Ah, and you can't forget about these. These are the, the ones that people often forget about, I've noticed, where if you go to the left of the bus stop, you get to this area where the the 
um, the tunnel is, yeah, you can you can get more berries over there. You see them when you go around the other way, but I think a lot of people look and they go, oh, I don't know how to get there. Hey, just go left of the bus. Oh, heck yeah, I've got more carrot seeds. <laughs> that feels good. Just like, you know, randomly stumbling across those. I, I like that as a new addition to the, the patch. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is, uh, yeah, I did my... Um, my painting exhibition, painting seminar, whatever you want to call it, went great. It went, it went great. I don't know why I was so nervous about that, but yeah, I'm I'm happy to have that done and behind us. And now we're going to be starting the painting course. I'll be doing that every Saturday after I'm done playing games at the game store. So yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. I think um it'll be a it'll it'll be a fun experience going back to teaching things. And I also find that with all things in, in fact i learn a lot when i teach because you have you have the the, the twofold attack here you got some people who will ask you a question and maybe i know the answer to it but maybe i've never really considered why i know the answer or how i know the answer and then just by answering it you kind of get some extra insight that you wouldn't otherwise have that's cool. That's, you know, that's a fun little experience. Um, just kind of learning a little bit about yourself. The same thing goes for, it, you know, if you're going to teach on a particular topic and you want to learn um, more about that topic, you you often go look it up. I've already pet the dog today. Yep. And uh, what, what ends up happening is you learn a lot more about that. And then suddenly, you know, you're able to convey that as well. Uh, level three foraging. Got a cookout kit. That's new, right? And moss soup is definitely new. I haven't found any moss yet, though I haven't really been looking. I don't know what to look for. I just assume that it grows on trees and I'll see it. But maybe I've passed a bunch of it. Uh, it's it's kind of making me wonder now. Uh, weather report. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller. Uh, neutral. That's fine. We got a lot of wandering to do. And then we also got... Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so. Man, Pierre, you're really like, you're really like trying to sell it, you know? That's, <laughs> he's, he's kind of pushing pretty hard on that one. Oh, we might get our other parsnip here. Uh, yeah, we got it, cool, beautiful. And now I'm a better farmer, too. So I'm going to have to go buy some seeds on this day. It is Tuesday, so yeah, they shouldn't be closed. I just got to make sure I get over there in time. Enough to at least plant a bunch of seeds here. The the cauliflower, maybe one more day, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe two more days. And, and then that's all grown. And then we've got uh, the spring crops bundle totally done. You know what? I used a lot less of my energy. I have a feeling that I went to bed and had less energy um, when I when my character woke up. So I think that actually might be the case for what, what actually happened there. Maybe I went to bed too late. I know you have reduced energy at a certain point, but I don't remember what time frame that is. I thought I went to bed on, you know, early enough on that, that night, but obviously not. From a game design perspective, I'm really curious as to the salmon berries intent, because it's like, they give it to you at this point in spring when you kind of start developing your engine. What I mean by that is uh, if you've ever played the tabletop like board games, there's a, you know, a specific genre called an engine builder, which is basically you start off really slow gaining resources and, and whatnot in particular games. And as you progress and as you go through the game, you'll unlock you know different ways of generating resources by the end of the game you're just generating a bunch great example of this popular example of this is uh what's the name of it uh wingspan which is a, it's a fine game it's fun whatever but it, it, it that is an engine builder so if you've ever played wingspan you know what i'm talking about well stardew valley is an engine builder in a sense you know when you start off and you're you've got nothing and you're trying to like generate stuff it's the same kind of satisfaction people get out of like a sky block in in minecraft right which is fun it's great i think it's a really cool thing or just any like uh survival game as well you know don't starve don't starve together um what's it what's a, another great i mean even terraria stuff like that like it's, it all kind of has the same concept behind it the same satisfaction the same um 
you know, peaks and valleys that you often get in these these engine building games. And you get this salmon berry at a certain point in this where it kind of feels like it's meant to boost that engine generation, you know, getting you that extra little bit of resource every day to to really start getting your upgrades set and your um your new seeds and just like everything like that or it's like let's let's get an animal or you know whatever oh, there's berries down there so it's it's an interesting thing it obviously pops in at a specific point during spring and you could say that like oh that's a thematic thing because the berries are growing during spring totally is but the best game design is when theming also matches design and this is definitely the case here where it feels like yeah he he set it up intentionally to happen on a specific day because it's like a certain point in a normal player's journey that they're requiring or really feeling the squeeze and they require additional resource gains. Yeah. And it's just, it makes me very curious about like the intention behind it. Like I would love to talk to Concerned Ape about, about his uh, game design. I find game design very interesting. For those of you new to the channel, I used to work in game design as well. So I've got background in that. And I really love it. I'm hyper passionate about game design, about analyzing choices and whatnot. It's why I love games like Stardew Valley. Not, you know, not in a way that I'm saying like games similar to Stardew Valley. I mean like Stardew Valley like games or, or um, Harvest Moon like games where people make a similar game with similar things, kind of like Coral Island in this example. And they make different choices often in those games and you kind of go and look, oh, what's over here? Oh, let's look at this first. Uh, quartz on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today, Evelyn. Makes Evelyn happy. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, let's go grab a quartz uh, after I go to the community center real quick. But yeah, I, I think that um, when it comes to having a game that's similar to another one and you make changes to it, I kind of briefly mentioned this, I think a few episodes ago, where the changes that you make to your game, even though you're making a similar game, it gives you an insight into what that person believes about the game that they're imitating. You know, for example, um, if you are, I, I think the greatest example of this is actually uh, Vampire Survivors. It's one of my favorite genres to go and, and play and see all of the different um, similarities that there are in these other games. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to actually finish this one bundle, am I? So I'm not going to be able to put this in there. Hmm. Didn't think about that. So I brought all this extra crap with me and I don't need to. Oh, well. Uh, let's just go drop this back off at home, get a quartz, find Evelyn, and then, yeah, move on with that. But, like, in Vampire Survivors, it, if you've never played it, I recommend it. It's cheap. Go pick it up on Steam or mobile or anyway. It's just, it's good. But something that people do when they design a game that's similar to it is they often change the way, like, the map works or how the skills work. And that gives you an insight about what that developer believes, it, you know, about the original game, they're not just making a change for change sake most of the time. A, a developer will look at that and go like, oh, I I like the skills in this game, so I'm gonna keep them the same, but the way the maps work, I don't like how they work in Vampire Survivor, so I'm gonna change it, and it's gonna be different in this kind of clone. I love that. I think it's it's a really cool insight when you, when you start being able to see that um, happen in game design. Aha, uh -huh, just the lady I was looking for. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Isn't that nice? Here, take this. Oh, so you saw the bulletin I posted. It looks perfect. Here's your payment as promised. Yeah, give me my money. Where's my money, man? 75 gold, that's not really... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, hey, just the other lady I was looking for. Have you met my mother? I beg your pardon. She's the town carpenter. Oh... Right. Oh, I see. See, I never really have ever talked to Maru. Things suddenly make a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah, she's not like renting a room from Robin. It's her mother. <laughs> 
and they actually did a really good job here because her father is you know of dark skin and her mother is not but they've given her kind of this like in between it's like oh i see i just kind of figured she was just another towns person and had her own story that um was separate from everybody else but it's not until this point that the everything has just kind of made sense mm. that's cool i like that what's up my guy this valley it, it has a very vibrant or is has has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem that's one reason i was excited to move here okay got anything else that's it i'm gonna marry your daughter one day just letting you know you know giving, <laughs> giving you a heads up oh hey there she's playing her little little flute little recorder that's yeah, a flute that's definitely a flute hard to tell it's pixel art you know <laughs> when, you, when you get so small with pixel art it's uh it's left to interpretation sometimes. Oh no, let's get out of here. I don't want to deal with those bugs. I hate those things. Oh, man, there's more of them too. Get out of here. You know, the new sword is really nice, but it could be better. We should uh, we should consider upgrading. All right, well, that's way down. Do I, do I want to just go? Yeah, I don't see anything special here. I'm just trying to get to level 30. I'm not like, I don't have any grand expectations of getting any further than that. I don't even anticipate getting to 30, but you know what? Getting there would be uh, would be really nice. It means if we accomplish something outside of just picking berries all day. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I forgot to go buy Pierre's and pick up seeds, and then we're not going to be able to do it tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday, and they're closed on Wednesdays. Dang it. Should have prioritized that. Totally didn't. Hey, we did it. Made it to 30. It's 10 p.m. I think it's time to go back. Yeah, that was... That was um, that was successful. I think that, that worked out really well for us. So we have an upgrade on our farming that we're going to get when we rest. And we pumped in a bunch of berries and parsnips. So we're going to have a lot more money. Maybe we consider getting our axe upgrade when we do this. Actually, I think that's a great idea. All right, let's see what we got. Level three farming. We can make bee houses, farmer's lunch, speed grow. Ooh. Feeling nice. Made a lot of money. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think um, we utilize this next day and upgrade our pickaxe or our axe. I'm thinking the axe. I think the axe is probably a better use of our time because we need that axe to be able to get hardwood. Uh, Queen Sauce rerun weather report. Clear and sunny all day. I said we run. Why did I say that? It's so weird. <laughs> Somewhat annoyed today. Okay, good. Good to know. Oh, there's our cauliflower. Yeah, see now we can go to the community center and get a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, we cannot go get a bunch of seeds. Kind of screwed on that one. Upgraded our um, farming again. It's interesting. That man, the cauliflower gave us a lot, didn't it? Um, we need to do that. Click it. Oh, right, right click it. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Oh wait, no crap. I wanted to be saving it. But at the same time, that's why I grabbed the extra ones. Hmm, I made a mistake. Actually, this is the point in which we do this. If you've, if you've never done this before, and you've made a mistake right at the beginning of a day, now you know. I, I guarantee you someone was like, no, don't do that. <laughs> that's for Maru. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. I'm just going to loot all these again. Level up again, I would hope so. Do, yep, there it goes. Because it, remember, it saves and loads at the beginning of the day. Uh, we will sell those, that, and we're gonna keep the rest. Um, so I, what I've been doing is I've been popping the uh, stuff for the bundles in here. So we'll grab those, because we're gonna be able to turn those in. Cool. All right, let's get everything watered and uh, get our chickens done. Go to the community center and turn in some bundles. What is this? What? 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 That's got to be new. I've never seen that before. The previous owner must have had a big head for a leprechaun. Oh my goodness. We just, we found a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That is amazing. 
I, is that new? Let me know in the comments if that's new or not. I've never seen that before. It just dawned on me. Why was there a rainbow if it hadn't rained? Hmm? Hmm? You tell me that. Why was there a rainbow if it had not rained yet? Curious. <laughs> that's going to keep me up. Um, I'm going to keep some of these. Uh, some of these salmon berries. Another 20 of them. Uh, because I kind of feel like we're in a spot where we can, yeah, utilize these pretty, pretty significantly. Let's grab a cauliflower out as well for Mario, because I don't think I have gifted her a yell. Yeah, so we can go do that, rather than gifting her quartz. Which, sure, yeah, quartz is easier to come by at the moment, but, um, yeah, I think I'd rather just gift her. There's more berries over there, too. Don't worry, I didn't see, I didn't miss those. Um, yeah, I'd rather gift her something that she's really going to love, like cauliflower. Uh, you know what? I like cauliflower. I want to say it's one of my favorite things. Even in the, uh, the, the, the realm of vegetables, if I had to choose between cauliflower and broccoli, I'm going to go broccoli 100% of the time. Especially if you got like, you know, like cheese or if you're like, Roasting it, yeah, or or anything. I just I just think broccoli is better. Uh, and then Marnie says I'd like to put an earth crystal above the mantle. Please de deliver it sometime today. Oh, I get a ticket. What's the ticket for? I actually don't know. I think we could do that. Let's check in here for M Maru. Um, it's possible she's not in here. It doesn't look like she is. Oh, where is she at on a Wednesday? Pierre's is closed, right? And where's Marnie at on a Wednesday at 2.30? I'm going to assume she's down in her shop. Uh, we could probably cut through our farm to get down there. Oh, I thought I had an earth crystal. I don't. Huh. I was certain that I found an earth Oh, no. You know what it is? I can't believe this. Oh, hold on. Before I forget. Let's go get my dog some water. I can't believe this. I totally... Oh. <laughs> Right before playing Stardew Valley tonight, I was playing as I was drinking my coffee, getting a little, little snackage, just having some biscotti. I was playing Coral Valley, Coral, Coral Island. I always do that. Why do I do that? Probably my dyslexia. Probably not, because that has nothing to do with it. But I, so I was playing Coral Island and I was trying to farm Earth Essence. And that's what it was. So in my brain, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I've got plenty of those because I've already. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was apparently mixing up games again. Oh, you know what? I also missed out on time here because they're only open to four. I had intended to run over there and get my axe upgraded. But I also forgot about that. All right, here we go. Well, bundle complete. Give me my reward. What's it going to be? Speed grow. That's fine. 10%. That's not bad. All right. So that now unlocks the bulletin board, which allows us to put the rest of our crap into that one, which is what we currently... Oh, no. It's not going to unlock the bulletin board. Don't do this to me, game. Damn it. <laughs> I need to get rid of this stuff in my inventory. Give me the bulletin board, please. Oh, man. So I need to get... Maybe one more, maybe two more completed before it gives me the bulletin board. This is all the, like the iron and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, copper and iron and a gold. Ay, adventurers and it's a geologist. Yeah, earth crystal. Well, crap. Hey, Maru. <laughs> On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at Harvey's clinic. Thanks. Wait, are you trying to like drop me a hint? Like, hey, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know where to find me. He says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes haywire. I think she's told us that before, right? Is that? Oh, wow, Zen, this is spectacular. It's a cauliflower. Yeah, being a farmer must be easy. Why'd she keep saying that? You know, she should not know me. She's over here assuming knowledge about me. Um, She did really like that cauliflower, though. We're going to have to hit her up with some more cauliflower. Oh, it's you two again. Hey there, Zen. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. You know what? If it's your hobby. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Why do you say that in a weird way? 
She's threatening me? You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm. Huh? What are you trying to say, Demetrius? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. You a cop? <laughs> a kid. <laughs> oh, let's get this stuff. Head back to the farm. Chop down some trees, I think. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best thing to do at the moment. No bush. I think that bush sometimes has berries. And I check it all the time. And I, I may... Maybe I'm misremembering because I never see berries on that. Okay. Cleared out a bunch of crap on my farm. It's so dark. I need to actually get some torches. Probably shouldn't prioritize that. Let's dump all that stuff in there. And before I forget, we're going to grab the five copper bars. Uh, we already got that. We can drop that in there. Keep our geode. Yeah, that feels right. Okay. Let's go rest. I think maybe something leveled up. Maybe not. Level four farming. Yeah. Okay. Preserves are perfect. We needed that. I don't think I have enough stuff for it at the moment to make it, but now we can start making jam with those berries, which is why we've collected 40 of them. Um, artisan goods just sell better, right? So we kind of want to do that. We also got a bunch of money there. We are rolling in it. I could like buy another chicken. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should buy another chicken. New achievement. Greenhorn. 15k, huh? Weather report. Tomorrow, cloudy with a light breeze. Lots of pollen. Fortune teller. Good humor. Okay. Living off the land. Ah, uh, refreshing rain. A farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. Use this to your advantage. Yeah. Felt like that was kind of self-explanatory. But I guess it goes back to the whole assumed knowledge thing, right? You don't want to assume knowledge. It would be like... Actually, it's not, it would be like, it is like, if you ever watch like a DIY video on YouTube, people assume stuff, right? When they, when they make a DIY video about the viewer, they assume you know how to properly use a hammer or any tool like a screwdriver. But is that really the case? I don't know. Depends on the person, I guess. But if a person is trying to, you know, get knowledge like that, maybe... Um, maybe DIY channels need to have like a, like a course of like, of videos being like, hey, this is how you properly use these tools. I think that would be uh, a good way to teach people, right? Because it gets rid of that assumed knowledge and it, it just like immediately starts teaching people, uh, you know, certain tools and whatnot. So I guess it's the same in Stardew Valley, right? Like you shouldn't assume that every player is going to be like, aha, uh -huh. when it rains, I can do whatever I want and don't have to sit here farming. <laughs> you know, I, I guess it does, um, it, it has the potential of going over people's heads. So yeah, why, why assume the knowledge? Just let it be. I'm really curious what you guys think of my new, uh, my new hat. <laughs> let me know if I should keep it on. Cause I've, again, I've never seen that ever in Stardew Valley. I didn't even know it existed. So that's why I assume it's a new thing. Um, but if you guys are like, it looks ridiculous, then I'll get a new hat. Let's see what, let's see what the hat vendor actually has. Good timing. Yeah, I don't want either of those. But, you know, I'll have other hats later. Do I keep this hat? Do I go back to my hair? I don't know. Best hat ever, though. wonder how much chicken is. Should we go check? Should we go check? Do, do, do. No, that's supplies. Animals. Chicken. 800. Hmm. Like, here's the thing. Do I waste money on a chicken? I mean, it, they, they do eventually pay themselves back, right? That's especially with mayonnaise. But I could just try to get enough to upgrade the coop. So that way we can incubate eggs and then get chickens that way. I think that might be a potentially a better use of that 800 gold. That's a tough one, though. Uh, you know what we can do, though? We can come over here. Grab us some wood, some coal. There was something else, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Let's go to crafting. Uh, stone, okay. And get some stone. Boom, okay, crafting. So now we can make one of these. In fact, I can I could probably make two of them, right? Yes. Let's, let's go ahead and make two. Um, do they stack? They do, perfect. So this will allow us to get our jams going. 
There's a joke there about it being the jam, but I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, and then I'm also gonna dump these 20 in here. So now we're up to 60, that's pretty good. Get rid of those, we'll sell that stuff, put that in there, got that. Get rid of that, sell that, sell these. I got rid of fiber that I didn't need to get rid of, but I did. <laughs> All right, let's go into town and get my watering can upgraded. Or not watering can, uh, axe, definitely axe. All right, Clint, give it to me. Upgrade tools, copper axe, right? Yes. So to, to clarify why I'm doing the axe in case people just don't know, or again, that whole assumed knowledge thing, it's simply down to, I need to be able to clear the big stumps. Oh, we got clay, nice, um, on my farm. Because, well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I need them cleared because I need that space. I, I need to be able to build buildings in certain spots. And well, I, I'm just currently tight on space. So it'd be nice to be able to have that space back. Number two, this is the, the more important one here. Oh man, do I have enough wood to go get that? Or is that the one that I've turned in? Let's look before I finish my thought. Fish tank. No, I don't have an oyster. How much is this? 300 wood? Hmm. I think it's time. I think it's time. We're going to run over there and go grab that. Just so we can finish that bundle. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of time to do that too. So, uh, yeah, I, I also want the hardwood that it gives. The hardwood we need to start collecting now. Like we're gonna want hardwood later for many different things. And I think that getting it early is really important. And then finally, I also want it because I need to get it to the third upgrade. <laughs> yes, I'm already considering how quickly I get it to uh, the iron um, ax. And the reason why is because, yeah, you can cut the stumps, like the big stumps with the, uh, the copper ax. But with the iron axe, you can cut like the fallen trees. And there's one in particular off where that traveling merchant is um, that if you cut down, you get to the secret woods. And in there, you get a bunch of stuff and, and we need that stuff. We need that stuff for the bundle. So again, that ASAP uh, is definitely a high priority for me. Do I have 300 wood? 205. Do I have enough time to get 300? Oh, crap. I just just upgraded the axe. All right, that's fine. That's definitely more worth it. Um, that that should still be there for like a day, maybe? Let's go see if we can find Maru. I bet you she's at home, so we're gonna go up and around. Aha, uh -huh. there she is. <laughs> she's on her way home. Give that to her. Yeah, I know, she loves it. All right, what else you gotta say? I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Bet you do. Um, not what I wanted to open. Go back there. Yes, now we got the two for the week. Got our chat in for the day. Yeah, it, it is nice to make sure that you always do your like daily chat with them. They seem to like it quite a lot. All right, what else can we do? So I can't cut down trees. I'm collecting a bunch of this crap, but is it, is it worth it? I guess what I could do is go back to the farm. Or I could buy a new sword while I'm up here. Let's see. Let's see how much a new sword is. It's gonna be like 2,500, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, no, it's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was. So our current sword is four to eight. That's eight to 15, eight to 14. I actually think I like, that's extra. I think I like the pirate sword more. Um, but the cutlass, nine to 17. Ooh, boots plus one defense. Hmm, a wall sword. Well, if I get the cutlass, I won't have to upgrade for a while. I think we do that. And I think we sell that one. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Because now we got this, like, awesome sword to guide us. In fact, I could just uh, go into the mines for a little bit, you know? Am I gonna, ooh, hello there. That was a hard one to see. Am I gonna um, get in there and get to, what was it, 30? 35 or whatever it was probably not but we could certainly try <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of time I, I guess if i get extremely lucky it might be possible uh, yeah it'd be 35 is what it is okay okay we could try oh little ghosty boy hard to see hey, give me anything other than iron i mean not that i'm disappointed in getting iron but oh my goodness i cannot see over here this is bad <laughs> 
I need to get torches. Um, yeah, there's also that light ring that you can get, like it emits light. That's also a priority. I mean, we're really close. We're at 34. Just dig all these up. It's because I can see. <laughs> so I can actually see if it's there. Uh, that's the other thing. And not being able to see, it's possible that I'm actually missing the exit. Because it, um, is like already open. Oh, there it is. Cool. 35. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. And let's just dig a little bit more. Get a little bit more stone. We'll head back home. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. We got quite a few days completed during this um, this play session here. Uh, got a bit of gold, right? I think the mayonnaise helped, yeah. And everything else is kind of Gucci, but man, that mayonnaise is making us bank. Maybe, maybe I do go get another chicken. It would pay for itself really quick. It was like 570, so let's assume, it's like, uh, let's assume about 250 on average. Yeah, that would... What's another mayonnaise machine, too? Ah, that's the earth crystal that we need. Yeah. Mm. I like that it says how many I have crafted. That's nice. But if I got one of those, I got another chicken. I think we might be able to make the money back fairly quick. 